Hello and welcome to only my second ever Laney tutorial. I've skipped the cover this time because for some reason Valentine's Day didn't really suit my voice. He sings it in a very Southern American accent. It didn't really transfer well into the Irish accents. Yeah, no cover this time, straight to tutorial. So uh, hope you enjoy. Just very quickly, my band just released their new song called Lights and uh, Spotify have picked it up. It's on like three massive playlists. So like the stream count has gone flying up. Um, I'll leave links in the description so you can listen. Thank you. So again, this is a very, very simple song made up of like four or five different chords. The first part of the song is the intro and that looks something like this. So it's a G, a G chord played like that, which is D, G and B, D, G and B. And then that goes to a C chord, which looks like this which is an E, a G, and a C. So the first to the second chord goes something like this. Okay, so it's just your outer fingers moving. The next chord then is back to a G, but played in a slightly different way, like this. So that again is just G, B, and D. And the final chord is a C, which is C, E, and G. So that intro is played like this. It's kind of fast enough hand movement. And then the bass goes like this, is a G in the bass then an A, then a B, and then down to a C. Okay, so it's like that. So all together it looks something like this. All right, so the next part of the song is the verse, which is very, very similar to the intro. It starts off with the exact same chord, the G, okay, which you should remember. Okay, so you just hold that for a long time. Which is just the same as the intro, only played at different times. So you should, if you know the intro, you should be able to play the, the first part of the verse. And then the second part of that first line in the verse is just G again, A minor, G. So G you should know. And then A minor is literally everything up just one. So G, A minor, which is A, E, A, C. Okay? Okay, and then it just repeats itself. So that intro looks something like this. And then it goes on. And uh, yeah, that's the verse. The next part of the song then is the chorus. Okay, and this is the first time where we see a different chord being used, which is a D major. Okay, which is D, D, F sharp, A. And again, it's just played in the same rhythm as the intro, very fast. Okay, so it goes from D to an E minor, which looks like that, which is E, E, F, B. So it goes like that. The next uh, chord then is G which is the chord we know quite well. All right. And then the last chord is a C, which again, we should know well at this stage because it's been in both of the other parts. And it's played in this kind of way. And it goes on and on, like that. And that is the chorus. Now the final part of the song, like the bridge part, where it's like 
I'll fly all night Things that I can't forget That part, which is again made up of chords that we already know. So the first chord being the D major from the chorus. It goes from a D major to the E minor. And then it goes to your, your C. So play it something like this. I'll fly all night Things that I can't forget and then there's a little like guitar hook thing. So it's just like this G, D, C, B. Like that. So one more time. That's it.